the purpose of this video is to show you how to upload your pictures from your cell phone to your laptop and then to our shared folder in Google Drive. Now the first part of that is pretty much on your own. You'll need to get your photos from your cell phone onto your laptop and the way you'll do that will depend on what kind of phone you have and what kind of setup you got on that phone. So if you need, use Google. There are lots of ways that Google can help you figure that out, but you're a bit on your own with that one. Once you've got it on your computer, though, that's when I can help you out. In order to access our photos, we're going to switch over to Moodle. Um, and I'm going to take one step back here. I'm in the Modern World History Google, or sorry, Moodle classroom, and I'm down in Unit 5, uh, right beneath Medea, and we're clicking on the World War I Museum field trip. That's going to open up, and we're looking for this line right here. Add your pictures to the gallery here. If you click here, the photo gallery that we've created as a class pops up. There are 175 items already, so 175 different pictures. Um, and you are welcome to use all these pictures. And I'd like you to add your pictures. But there's one more step you got to take to do that. And that's to click on this open in drive. If we click on that, it's going to change our page and it's going to take us to the World War I photos folder. This is open to anybody with a center ID. So you guys all should have access to this right away as long as you're logged in. Uh, to Google with your center username and password. Once you're here, there's only one more step to take. That is to click on this red upload button and to select a file. Now if you don't see this red upload button, click on the create and I've got the newer version of Google Drive. If you have the older version, then you'll see an upload option right about here where my mouse is moving. I'm going to go back to the upload and click on files and I've got some pictures pulled up already to show you an example so I'll just pick a random one and I'll click on open. Now if I wanted to pick more than one I could hold my mouse down and drag multiple and download them that way. But for the example I'll just pick one and I'll click open. I want to upload and share I want to start the upload and you'll see this progress bar, wait for it to reach 100% and then you're good to go. When you've uploaded your picture, it's going to pop up in this screen right here. If you want to see the actual pictures rather than just their names, which I think is a great idea, go look on these four boxes right here that say switch to grid. And you'll see the pictures will pop up in the small tiles. From that point on, you're welcome to use all these pictures to complete the next part of your assignment.